those little pauses to me, man, that shit sounds so incredible to me. I, I want to get back to the song. This shit is nasty. I'm gonna start this back. Nasty. From the beginning. Charismatic front man can do yeah, a lot. Yeah, boy. Can do a lot for a band. <laughs> they can make a band and kill a band. Nasty though. That, I, I, that, that is no nasty. Wrong to me. That is nasty. The riffs and and my man Peter Stone yeah. voice. Really, it's like nails on a chalkboard to me, guys. So, but uh, we're gonna get through it. We're gonna get through it. And it's an inner it's uh never mind. Keep it going, George. <laughs> it's just just keep it going. Check us out on Patreon, guys, where we give you our exclusive access to all of our videos, 186 videos and counting. Bangers too though. Bangers. <laughs> you know, nothing too shabby. I mean, I don't know, like a Led Zeppelin marathon. We got Metallica mm -hmm. on there, some negative yep. stuff. You know, I'm just saying, just throwing that out there, man. What's up, guys? Your boys are back. I'm Ryan, my man, George. Yeah, what's up, guys? How you living out there? Shout out to the free thinkers, of course. Shout out to everybody that's been following us on DefterRadio.com, our website, and of course, our Instagram, DefterRadio, as well. Make sure you guys follow us on both of those platforms. It's a great way to support the channel and a great way to get on our radar as far as requests are concerned. The information for both of those platforms will be in the description below. And as always, guys, make sure you like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, make sure it's set to all so you get all our videos as they drop. A becoming artist, man, you know what to do. Click the link in the description. We'll do about 60 seconds of your song in front of one of our up and coming videos, get you some exposure, or if you got a full song, we can get you hooked up on that as well. Information for both will be in the description below, guys. All right, man, so we're back to Talking Heads, man. We're going to do uh, Psycho Killer today. Yeah. Uh, it's on the album. It says Talking Heads 77. I'm guessing that's because it was made in 77. Mm -hmm. um, but, dude, the last song we did by them, Once in a Lifetime, man, that was actually a pretty good song. I enjoyed that. It was, it was, it was kooky as hell. It was like, but, uh, kooky. That lead singer was wild. <laughs> Yeah, but it had a little bit of, dare I say, a little groove to it. So check that out, guys. That's live on YouTube. We did that about 10 months ago or so. Um, that was a, a, an entertaining reaction. <laughs> yeah, check so, that out. I don't know what to expect with this one. I don't know if it's going to be more of the same or yeah. if it's going to be drastically different or yeah. what. So this one, uh, this album, um, as you mentioned, Ryan, came out in 1977. Once in a Lifetime was a 1980s talking head. I think that song specifically came out in 1980. So we're getting the 70s version of this band. And um, how do we pick this one? We were looking at the uh, streaming platform that we use. This is one of the more popular songs that the uh, Talking Heads has, has ever done. Don't think we've heard it. Uh, we believe at this point, this is a first time listen pure. So let's get into it, man. Yeah, man. Talking Heads, Psycho Killer. Right there, man. 
<laughs> Dude is a character, man. The lead singer is such a character. What's his name again? David Byrne, man, I believe, man. Yeah, dude. Dude is a straight up character, man. But I'm, I'm having fun with listening to this one. And it does sound like they're embodying the mind of a psycho killer, right? It's, um, it seems very, um, it, the way he's singing it is like lighthearted, but it seems disturbing. Psycho killer, when he's saying that, that, that is helping that case that it sounds off. Like, you know, psycho killers, when I think of a psycho killer or a serial killer, um, they're just a little off. The Netflix show, that, that miniseries they had of Dahmer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what, did, what did my man say that the first episode? when they Because they, they started that, if you haven't seen that, they started that with him getting ca captured and then he kind of tells the story. And he was like, yeah, I, I was figuring we need someone need to put a stop to it eventually. <laughs> like the way he said that is like, yeah, I've been killing people for so long. Yeah, I figured uh, eventually it's, about yeah, that time. it's yeah. come to this event. <laughs> That's what this sounds like. Yeah. But I'm enjoying it, though. <laughs> but really what sets this group apart from a lot of 70s bands that I've heard is the lead singer. You know what I mean? The lead singer gives this song all the character yeah. all of it yeah. right we're just sitting here like bugging the fuck out that's literally what's catching my or capturing my attention man hearing him go from fa 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 to run run runs and into the oh yeah yeah all this shit yeah. and then this sort of talking like delivery that feels a bit weird and off and disturbing and maybe unhinged to a degree it's very fascinating it's a fascinating listen so this is kudos man to david byrne man i, I can understand I feel like this would be a very great karaoke song for a lot of people as well. <laughs> yeah. Because you don't really need to know how to sing to get yeah. this one off. Because you don't know how to sing. Yeah, exactly. That's my point. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you don't really need to know how to sing to get this shit off. And uh, and then you, it just seems fun to fucking just sing this shit. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I could just see people doing the rope yeah. and shit like that. Psycho but, killer. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All that. Let's just keep it going. <laughs> Feel the same way I felt after um, Once in a Lifetime, man. Just a really, really fun, <laughs> interesting band with a extremely eclectic, just quirky ass singer, man. But um, I, but I think there's there is there is a charm to to his style, man. There's a freeness to the way that he sings. Uh, he's just willing to just. Uh, it, it seems like in 1977, who else was doing this? You know what I'm saying? Who was who else was taking it there like this? From the bands that we've heard in the 70s. They felt a bit more traditional, conventional, a lot of the vocalists there. But this shit right here just feels different now. You know what I'm saying? So he was very unapologetically just um, taking it there and not afraid to be a bit weird, a bit strange. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was a very interesting <laughs> listen, man. Shout out to them. Enjoyed it. 
keep giving us talking heads, man. We get back to them. Yeah, that was funny, man. I just, I enjoyed that too, man. Not my playlist, but I enjoyed reacting to that, you mm -hmm. know? And uh, I thought it was just fun and it was lighthearted, man. And it sounded um, like fitting for uh, the name, Psycho Killer, you know? Um, mm -hmm. We were uh, reading when the song was ending that this song was like inspired by the movie Psycho, Norman Bates from um, the movie Psycho. And I was asking George, uh, have you seen Bates Motel? And if you guys haven't seen Bates Motel, that's the story of Norman Bates and how he became Norman Bates. That's that they, they, they um, kind of portray his life before he became psycho. Like what made him become Prelude. this psycho, yeah, <laughs> this psycho killer, right? So um, I think he, they bodied the, um, the eeriness and the uh, disgruntledness and the way that the song sounded because it sounded so free that you just don't give a fuck. That's what it sounded like to me. Like, you could be fucking chopping motherfuckers up and, <laughs> what did Martin say, eating asses for breakfast and shit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, fucking eating fingers for appetizers and shit and just not give a fuck and just be very lighthearted about it. They He did a really good job. <laughs> not dipping the fingers in the ranch sauce. Yeah. <laughs> dipping the fingers in the ranch sauce is crazy, man. But they just did a really good job portraying that um, imagery in this song. That's what I imagine, you know, with that fuck, 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 fuck. Like, I could see somebody eating a fucking asshole and shit, just fucking singing and shit. Like, this motherfucker's crazy, you know what I'm saying? You got a lobster bib on and shit. Like, what? Like, this shit is crazy, right? But uh, I really feel like um, that, that this was just a um, true embodiment of someone that is having a good time performing the song, because I would assume that this song live would probably go off, like you said, like a karaoke type thing. Mm -hmm. I bet you live, motherfuckers oh, yeah. be like, fuck, 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 oh, yeah. fuck, fuck, oh, yeah. then motherfuckers be going crazy, I'm sure. So um, I just really think they did a good job uh, doing <laughs> that, man, and uh, really bringing that psycho killer, free will, not really paint, not really uh, knowing the magnitude of what you're doing, that kind of feeling to life. Yeah, man. Give us more talking heads, man. Mm -hmm. Always, always a, an interesting listen with this band, man. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I know I, I, it's not going to make my playlist <laughs> either, but I want to make sure that, that I'm clear. This is a, a very good band, though. I actually think that they're a very, very mm -hmm. good, innovative, creative band. I don't know if style-wise they're, they're a band that I could see myself really listening to casually, but again, out and about in passing, maybe, you know what I'm saying? If I heard it at a party or something like that, I'm rocking out. I'm having a good time. So I just want to kind of make that clear. But uh, yeah, that's it. Give us more Talking Heads. We'll, uh, we'll get back to them at some point. That's the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And also make sure you guys check out our Patreon and DefterRadio.com. Both of those platforms are a great way to support the channel. The information for both will be in the description. I'm George. That's Ryan. Lost to Vegas. We yeah. out.